Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Republic of the Three Rivers Lover. But right now, we gotta go to war with the nation of Jackson, which we already have, take out Buffalo, and read about a couple more focuses. I think I did this one already, but I didn't read this one. Our energy infrastructure is almost non existent and is quickly becoming obsolete. Thankfully, we can afford another solution, thanks to our position in the wasteland. Mercantile big shots could easily set up a deal with their neighbors to import energy. Gary's guns. The free folks of the Three Rivers love for Gary and all it stands for. Hundreds of our newborns now bear the name of Gary. Perhaps it's time to, over to throw caution to the wind and invest half of our industry in building up the lovable fort. And then we'll go with advanced weaponry. In the old ruins of a factory, scavengers have procured schematics for advanced, sophisticated weaponry. Though fated at a time, if we devoted our best to deciphering the old schematics, we could wield these weapons for uh, from a greater past. Of course, of course, of course. And we're going to keep going and get more manpower, because that's very nice. Manpower is very good. Uh, if you guys want to go into... Also, MacArthur is demanding territory up here, because I took out... Or last episode, we took out Havra, whatever it is. So, they want territory from us, but, you know, we probably won't give it to them. Give it to them, so... And that's okay with us. Um, actually, you know, since we're waiting here, and we'll be fighting up there near MacArthur. We probably do one, two, maybe one, two, just in case. For oh, 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 never mind. Well, we better hurry up. I also want to go to war with these guys, but it's a little bit late for that now. Um, you know what? If you guys are here, I'm gonna tell you guys to rush this way. Oh, hello. Uh, do that real quick. If you guys can get to the line, that'd be great. If not, you know what, we'll see. Uh, so let's go ahead and move. Jacksons are dead. The song from the front. If you want to read about this, please go right ahead. Horse sport wouldn't be bad. I prefer the political power now so we can keep coring more stuff. Because we love coring stuff right now. Because look at all this stuff that we have to core. Oh, goodness. 2,000, 2,000. Ooh, that's a lot of factories. Ooh, actually, let's save a political power for that one. Notre Dame des Lords. Very nice. That's since you guys actually made it here. Up there. So how many divisions do they have? Up to 27. Quite a few factories. Quite a few factories. We actually made it a line. Not bad. Um, after Gary's guns, of course, advanced weaponry. Be very nice. <clears throat> so, uh, we got to talk about this as well. So these are... Basically, the one of the following must be true. Opinion of old believers, and old believers are dead right now. Uh, has to be at least 25. These have to have a higher opinion of, like, Drama Tay, and then Gimli's General Waves, and as well as Vaults, 37. But if we want to do that... That's kind of impossible now, since if we like, if we want to increase our opinion here, we want to improve relations, but improve relations through events, decisions, and focuses only. So we can't do that. So I might just use cons commands. I'll be honest with you, uh, to get this all stuff done. Cause if not, I'll just take them out. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe not. Especially this one had the faith. I didn't realize that we that we had to have a good opinion of them, but. The old believers are a group of religious fanatics that can't afford to do much else than crusading and crucifying, but I'm sure they'll see the benefits of buying some of their industry as a form of indulgence. Stopping the horde. Lunatics of the mad trade have been a nuisance, but with all growing headaches, if it isn't nurtured, we'll be at more loss than what tolerance is worth. Let's show them how we greet the mad and wicked. Did they not stop? They don't want to continue attacking us? What's wrong with them? What the heck is wrong with them? Um, were we at least able to build at least one airbase? Maybe here? No? Okay. Let's do that. And we'll start taking them too soon again. We are out of infantry armor, of course. Fire team weaponry. Um, AA gear. Probably not going to use that. Power armor. We'll save that for now. Airships. We are trying to make a few airships as well. Because we can. Uh, where are we at? Pro radios are almost done. Mobile fortifications would be nice. Rocket launchers are very good as well. Uh, just one more reliability. Uh, let's go with this one. From department. Come down here. Trying to build up a whole bunch of stuff. Art of Haggling, very nice. And that's again. That sucks. Whatever. Refugees. Oh, 21 unassimilated refugees. Not bad. Ooh, what do we have here? Scavenger found something. Cost reduction for a naval department. How great. Um, here. Steel Town. And anti-tank rifles, rocket launchers, old world spy book. Grab some of that. For this one, you can try to do MacArthur. We'll see. Infinity Knights on really cool. We'll see how far we get. If we actually end up on the coast or not. So, all right, let's see what happens. Can we do a general attack? That is a real question. Ooh, sophisticated infantry tech. Nice. In general, yes, we'll do quite well. Won't be able to win everywhere, probably. But you know what? We'll see. Doing a little bit of damage here. It's very nice.
400 versus 1100. Nice. Let's come back over here. Where was that tile? Um, that's not bad either. That's actually really good at core, too. Uh, up here. Got basically a thousand more manpower and way more factories to use. Stopping the horde. The false state. Let's see. Well, I did say I won't do that one. Public schooling would be bad, but research doesn't really matter too much to us anymore. Maintaining an advantage. Even in the ways life still, we cannot. Let us push our navy further with new training drills and exercises. Excellence is a product of trial and endurance. <clears throat> Very good. Keep working on that army XP. That air XP is just jumping up a whole bunch. Hopefully, no, yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. Four days, not bad. Uh, that's a lot of rivers we have to contend with, but that's all right. Six special forces divisions that are not bad either. Let's see, special forces. Yeah, they're maxed out on what they can have. Uh, William Ames. Got the Air Force Base. How much more manpower do they have? They have a lot of resistance. Holy crap. Oh, they're out of manpower. No wonder. Very nice. Special fertilizer. Um, population nomadicity. nomadicity. Let's see, 1.18, not bad. How many divisions do they have now? 24 max. It's not shabby. They beat us up. We beat them up. It's all good. And keep doing this too. <clears throat> not worth putting an occasional fort or fort uh, airbase here and there. Because we are just going to keep expanding this way. The Great Stampede, Invisible Ink. Drills, not bad. Castner Flats, alright. Um, I think for now we're just going to keep using our basic weaponry. Not lasers yet. Maybe someday, but not yet. Good. Keep piercing them. Keep basically destroying them. Great Falls Airport. Should be ours soon, too. Lost about 600, lost about 1,000, stopping the horde, maintaining our advantage. Uh, masters of it, navigation. Beyond the surface of the waters is a realm of known. Lost with creatures and currents, both wicked and calm. Our researchers and specialists suggest we spend time studying our voyages so that we can plot the best routes. Discreet or swift. Nice. Probably calm down a little bit more on how many divisions we produce, because they do cost money. And jet fighters, yes please. <clears throat> 23 divisions left. Still no manpower. 23, a couple of rapid response divisions. Of course, they do have power armor, so that's why it's taking so long with these guys, but that's okay. High caliber ammunition. HMGs, yes, please. Good, keep going in. Missoula. Very nice. Been there, actually. For realsies. Can we pierce them? No, we cannot. Huh. We're going to become a juggernaut of strength here. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, building ourselves up all along here will be very, very important. <coughs> Keep going, keep going. Doing well down here too. I can work is cool. So get 9300 every month. I should be learning a lot. Leader experience game, more tactical defense. Good stuff, good stuff. Go right there, you might be able to beat him up and circle and destroy that division. And get some more ground support. That'd be lovely. 20 divisions left, 3,000 have died, not enough. Another division is about to die here too, which is great, 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 great. You guys go head down this way. Just go whenever, pretty much, whenever you can. 90 divisions left. 101 is not bad. War measures, pretty good on war measures already. 
get another operative, which is very good. MacArthur is going to be one of the toughest ones to fight, probably. Just because of how strong they are. Uh, let's go to Triumph. Nice. Robco Industries. Interesting. We're here. We did Inspiration already. Idiot Savant. Leader scale bonuses. I might do Spec Ops. Oh, let's see. I want to wait first. I'm not going to burn them later. Masters of Navigation. Operative. Jeffrey Gibbs. Let's go with Gibbs. Twin Bridges. Need more infantry armor, but what else is new? And naval stuff is fine. After that one, the pel Pelican. So they say the policeman, but no, Pelican. Oh, we get what? Oh, we get twenty percent more political. Oh, let's get that one done. The false state. It seems these raiders and hooligans just never learn their neighbors' transgressions. Moose Jaw's been stirring up trouble on their newly acquired borders. Shall we show them the door too? Of course we shall. Beautiful. Keep going. How close are they to capitulation once we get through this one first? Nice. Very good. So far. MacArthur Air Force Base. Oh, actually. Um, it's not good. You guys go up there, through there. Keep them busy. Literally just keep them busy. Cool, and better than two. Keep building up a lot of roads too. I, I want a lot of roads. Just because we're gonna things to build, we get more resources, be able to transport things better. I think does it help trade node at all as well? I could be wrong about that. Of course we want a bigger industry too, but eventually once an industry is big enough, it won't really matter too much. Deadline. Not bad. You guys go right there too. Um, I want you guys to take out Missoula. How much further do we need? Hopefully not that much more. You have anything there? No. Level five. Level five is good. Profits hollow. Hollow profits. Twenty-five divisions are just going straight into here. Wow. There we go. We got them. Let's go back over here, take these guys out. Oh, it takes 25, 15 days, not even 25 days, 15 days, which is good. Come over here, grab that. Come over here and grab this. You guys, could actually probably do this area too. This is a huge nation, the couple, but I mean, just because it's, oh, it's, it's huge, doesn't necessarily mean there's a lot of divisions, doesn't mean they're good, but still. State. You all get ready to go, 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 because you should be able to do it pretty easily overall. And we have seven from Splash Shoes. There you go. Ooh, we can't build railways. I don't know about that one. All right, so after the failed stay, keeping her word, I had promised to you when I first stepped up to the presidency, and once more when my leadership was reinstated, that you'd be in the hands of great care. Every promise I've made I've kept, for the heart of the people comes first, then mine. Cool. And there we go. So I started to just find middle mouth too. Ain't gonna do much, but we can do it like this. Three, two, one. Just a lot of Krieg, a lot of war. Northern Cons? Actually, the Northern Cons. Angalon. So the workhorse, nice. Follow the apocalypse. Oh darn, no unique focus tree yet. That sucks. So we went with Doctrine School, Hail and Sleep, because it's going to be pretty cold up here against the wind. Discreet Meadows. Cavern Safe Havens might not be bad. Thistle Pockets. Uh, I'll probably go with this one, but in all honesty, let's go with Special Forces, Robots, Vehicles, I'll go with you over here. This way we get slightly more Army XP too. Special Forces Organization, because why not? I don't think these guys will be able to really hold out that well, but we'll see. They're by themselves, so. Good 
the Unbound. Um, yeah, we have no connection there, so we gotta take out the Metas Congress first. Let's see what Ma the Kingdom of Manitoba will do, but, you know, like I said, we'll see. Nice. Three more factories to use. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 308 versus 700 some odd. Not bad, not bad. Jet fighters, very good. Good attack planes, awesome as well. We will need some more resources, but there they do go and die. Mandatory rowing exercises. It's crucial to revisit the roots of crossing the seas. Before motors, there were oars, and before metal titans, there were rowboats. And eventually, their sh ship sinks. Our navy needs to, need to know how to make with the basics one row at a time. And then, of course, liberty and equality. In my dream, I see a world for the liberated and equal. When I wake, the vision is still there, brighter and clearer than before. For the stampede, we don't need to be adverse adversaries. Let me change your mind one way or another. Stampede, of course, is a... These guys up here, it's really nice. So, I know we're focusing more on like American territories because this is Eastern Montana. So from here on out, we're gonna focus more on the Canadian uh, portion of Canada, so. Um, so this is Montana right here. Uh, so we need really starting up here-ish. So what is the ant? 35 days is not bad, it's actually really good. Couple divisions there. Let them reshuffle themselves just a wee bit first. We got time to kill right now anyway, so, and we now we get 1.67 political power every single day. Uh, sure, why not? That's fine. Alright, come on. Come on. Move your booties. It's only 2283. Move your big old booties. Ya honkers. Faster, 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 faster. There you go. And let's go ahead and invade him on the side. Nice. Any damage? Just a little wee bit. Just a wee bit. Gary's Arms Factories, of course. Actually, we do have Robco, but Robco is pretty useless for us. I wish it was a better way if we can get get those old technologies, but you know what? Whatever. Uh, oh! There's an area down there, too. Whoops. Oh, well. There's an area up here, too. Oh, well. Whatever. We're doing well enough. Not concerned. They got up to 23 divisions. Um, where are we at? You know what? If we do go to war with the Stampede, we probably want one guy there. But another guy right there at the capital. But, and you go to the end. Might just need special forces to take these guys out. We'll see. Because I do want to take these guys out pretty quickly. So, See what y'all can do. Keep crashing in. Uh, go right there. I should go to Big Timber first and then go there. Scam to Trump. Hey, Lockreed. That's not bad. Lockreed Aeronautics. Fighters. Heavy Bombers. West Tech. Uh, that's not bad. Owns Boulder. Can't get that one. That's okay. Construction speed is not bad, too. Infantry. Honestly, we're going to go robots. That's okay. Lockheed is probably the best one. Arcjet systems is pretty good, too. Actually, you know what? If we can get Arcjet, which there's no guarantee that we will, I'd prefer this one over Lockheed. Lockheed's not bad, like I said, but still. Auto point targeting. Go and grab that one, too, because you can. Uh, monoplane attackers. Jet plane attackers. Yes, please. And what else here? Better recon. Why not? Ah, metal mouths. Thank you, metal mouths. We'll do that very soon. Nice, nice. Eight divisions should be enough for this group here, but we'll see. The goal is to make it at least to the coast. Maybe not to get all the Canadian territories, we'll see, but at least to the coast. Common weapon is good. Up oh, next ball with helmets. Yes. After equality and liberty, we'll go with Pelican. Or maybe the Aviation Club. While Three Rivers is hugged by both land and water, many still hold their holds up to the sky, wondering and waiting. A man referred to as Baron McGregor has sent us multiple requests to open an Aviation Club. Perhaps we should indulge his wishes. Uh, do you have to want to go right here? Oh, there's no available land route. Oh, there's like impassable terrain there. Interesting. That's a little different. If that's the case, that's why we're saving just in case. Can we go in? Well, they're attacking us 40, 45, 46, 47. Attacking these divisions here is not bad. Um, let's see. Keep going, looking around here. Can we do that? Oh, that's really good core. Yep. Not a good question. It. That's not bad either. I'm just looking at the factories. Not necessarily the population, but just factories at period. Um, uh, what are we missing still besides infantry armor? 
Tons of infantry, armored fire teams. Of course, we need more resources as well. Yeah. There we go. Another infantry leader. Thank you. Are we losing here? No, we're not. Let's go. Oh, 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 they actually did push in. It's supposed to be impossible terrain. Impassable terrain, I should say. We get another general. Let's go to military academy officers, perhaps. Ah, there you go. Now you'll be okay. Let them attack us again, and they'll go to war with these guys. And we'll really start challenging on these guys. I might actually install the uh, fast justification war mod just to get this do this a little bit faster. So we'll see. Do they not like attacking? What's wrong with them? And yeah, that's what I thought. We'll go to war with these guys and maybe the wasp as well. Fifteen days is not bad. They're not attacking, which is a little disappointing, but that's fine, whatever. Liberty quality, about ready to go to war as well. Which is good, good, good. Aviation club. Yes, please. So at least get one more official mercenary before we do this one. Grab someone new. Wade Barnes. Chance to get wounded. He's reckless. Way more speed, which is nice. Rational's pretty not worth it right now, but whatever. And we'll go with Mr. Stranger. Both might want that. Grab planes, which sucks, but whatever. Whatever. And maybe H Club. Follow it up with common market. Oh, look at that. <clears throat> Our refurbished airfields. McGregor's thrilled with the creation of his aviation club. He's already laid out his long term plans for success. First step is illustrated with a comically sized mar size map as a refurbished older airfields. Advanced training, not bad. Oh. A little bit ahead of time. Let's grab this one then. You guys will grab what? Just still looks ahead of time. Maybe better doggos. Let's go ahead and go to war with the wasp because you can. And go to war with the bumblebee as well. 15 days is very good. We need way more political power. Yeah. Buy out the prospectors. While the resources given by the Republic have been quaint, McGregor wants to broaden his horizons. Production in the North End has been slow as of late. Perhaps some special remedies should be made for more tasteful results in the Mad Baron. Oh. I look to the sky and I see a future. One of white clouds and blue skies, of quiet nights and twinkling stars. But for all that to be ours, listen, I'm the man you'll need, says Sam McGregor. Okay, we'll see. Can you guys actually do that, maybe? Look, make it look like so we're, we are weakening ourselves, maybe? And spread ourselves out a little bit more? We'll see. Oh, they're attacking us, too. Look at that. Oh, they're forcing the attack. Nice. Very nice. Cooling jackets. Nice. Very good. Um, Feeling powder, just in case. Ah, they're forcing the defense. Not bad. Interesting move, to say the least. Go to the Bumblebee as well. Mosquito. Yeah, I know it's Mosquito, but whatever. Um, vehicles, yes, please. How strong are these guys? 45 divisions. 80,000 manpower left. Well, you know what, I guess. What we go right there, I guess. Technology. Possible. You know what? I'll put you right here just to hold for now. Just hold the line. You are hot blooded. Like a boy, girl, experience soldiers, losses, night person. Spec Ops, Awareness, Strong Back, Rooted. Aviation Club. You can really use more resources. Just actually that one. Not that one so much, but whatever. Rum Shell. Nordkin. Hey, we'll see, you know. We'll see. Keep going, keep going. Overall, not bad. Oh, 
don't think these guys could really break out and do very much though. Hmm. Fifteen there. Our divisions here. This is going to be flooding out this direction, which is not good. Buy some time. Maybe we can break over the river this way, perhaps. Go that way, maybe. Help them out that way, maybe. Yes? No? Maybe so. Ooh, another division would be very nice. At this point, you guys actually might be able to do really well here, so let's go and force the attack. Go through here, cut them off. Or they're just going to kill themselves on the line anyways, which also works very well for us. I mean, it's going to be pretty costly for us, but it's very costly for them if they're going to force attack, force defense. Yeah, look at that. Very, very costly. Hey, Brooke over there, we're good. Hope they just don't get encircled or anything like that. Well, that's not good. We won't need to rescue them if we move fast enough, but whatever. We need the nest. If we grab the nest, they're done. And they can just focus on this nation next. Ah, see? There it goes again. Slowly working both ways around here. For the love of God, please. Keep not getting sent. Cold. Please. Advanced weaponry, yep. That would be nice. Oh, they got encircled, god dang it. Like we said, do not get encircled, you ding dongs. Force it. We got the industry and manpower for it, so. Get the cipher schools, very nice. Buy out the prospectors, refurbish the airfields. That should really help us out. Oh, so much more. That's so much nicer. Now they're forcing us to attack. Not bad. Exhausted. Planning speed. Scavengers triumph. More research speeds. Not bad. Get some manual prospectors. Yes. We take out the monarch. That'd be really good. Go one buy you motors. Not bad. Not bad. Yep. Help, help each other out as much as you can. Training programs. I don't think we're even using the dog yet, but whatever. Come on, just break over the god dang river. It would help if we did have air bases here too, though. Should be pretty quick to build this up, though. How much more manpower do you have? Killed off thousands of them. But it still ain't enough. They want to move in there? I'd rather take Monarch first. Gotta be learning more, man. Learn more, learn more, learn more. Ballistic fibers, special forces kits. We have a radar station, which is nice. Oh, now we got him. Yeah, you're not allowed to lose here. And good. Good. Um, you got area two, and then you guys can go right there. Got monarch, which is nice. Feed it over there, or whatever. I'll take one tile. Take one flipping tile here. Then you can encircle all these guys and kill them all off. Makes it way easier for us when you do that. Actually, since you're here, I'm going to put you like right up here. Nice. Research speed, field refugees, it's fine, whatever. Alright, so who's closer. They're all roughly the same level of... Wow, they actually broke through. Uh, you know, 
Do we have to do them again? Yeah, I do it anyways. Oh, we got in circle. That's not good. Uh, I forced it. Good. Flooding through here would be good. Flooding through up here would be good, very good. Uh, we're winning now because probably we have we can actually do damage. Actually, being able to do damage is pretty helpful, you know. Relatively helpful. Good. These guys are cut off, I think. There's no port around here. So once these guys are done, we'll be able to push very quickly through here. Shows army. Very nice. Very nice. Ah, uh, yeah. These guys will die, though. And once we take the airbase or the radar station, that'll be very good, too. Nice. Good. Refurbished airfields. Mad Baron, yes. We should have not gone to war with them. But again, circle here a little bit, too. It's all right. We're actually pushing through this side to take these guys out, too. Very nice. Come on. Doing a lot of damage over there. Down here. We're doing some. Come on, get rid of that thing. Oh, gun circle, that sucks. Um, maybe I've been off a little bit more than we could choose, so we'll see. I might have to redo this war just a little bit off screen first. And now we have special forces kits. Really good kits. Superb kits. But we've finished off the war with that group here, and we did okay overall, not bad. Um, up next, we are going to war with these guys, and we'll go to war with this, the great north up here. Strath communes, get rid of the entrance. And keep just pushing. Just keep pushing, 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 pushing as much as we can. So, these guys have a lot of divisions. I don't know how the, these nations up here have so much manpower. Oh, also we did uh, found uh, the, the Academy of Aviation. The youth of the Republic watch the sky with wonder. Churning in their hearts newfound ambition that cannot have been possible without the Aviation Club, Baron McGregor proposed an Aviation Academy. Uh, the future is in the hands of young pots. It falls upon us to uh, provide the means of success. So, I really don't, like I said, I don't understand how they have so much manpower. Uh, but then again, I, I don't make the mods, so. There lies an old air museum just near the border. We've ignored it for the most part with Baron McGregor's flourishing avian efforts. It would be beneficial to return and scavenge what we can. Apply new air, or new concepts. All the schematics illustrate that these aerial vessels called blimps. They're sturdy, can hold entire crews of mechanic, pilots, and potential commanders. They're exciting to say the least. Shall we look into them? No, but okay. Take a little bit longer for this group, because they have so many divisions for somehow. Um, yeah. But we'll do okay. Missing anything? No military training is not bad. Uh, grab that one because you can. Overall, not bad. Just missing a lot of stuff here. A lot of infantry armor, demo equipment. You know what else is new? <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. And keep going, keep going. You're doing okay. Well, I guess you need probably this too. Techniques, not bad. Get ready for these guys as well, hopefully, and we don't screw them up too much or screw ourselves up too much. Looks like we don't even have enough divisions to put on the front line, but whatever. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, I don't understand how they can just hold out like this, especially with air superiority. Of course, I guess it's only the blimps can hold out. But then again, we do have a lot of planes around here, anyways. Come on. I hate the glitch in Hoi 4 where you try to put things at the top and they don't go to the top. Hold on, why is supply so bad here? Ay ay ay. This is incredibly infuriating. If we don't have any supply, they should have no supply here. What the heck, man? This is stupid. You're gonna all force the attack if you can. Come on, come on, good. That helps out a slightly more supply, hopefully. This is so dumb. It's incredibly stupid. That's something else kind of stupid too. We win here, maybe? Oh, we're still just fine. Oh, in 95 days. Holy crap, that's a long time. That's a very long time. And then they do force defense. I'm happy we lost 1,000 versus 1,000. That's not worth it. 
Oh my god. This is incredibly stupid. We're doing no damage, basically. No air damage. That's so stupid. I do not care. Go in. Computer's gone. Nope, you're not going to stop the attacks. Nope, you're going to attack right there, right now. If they want to be stupid, they can be stupid. Fine, I thank God. Supply? Well, I understand why the devs did it the way it is, because it'd be god-awful if it was uh, set up like vanilla like port, but oh boy. Oh boy, I got some. Ah, <sighs> some things for this. And we go to war with these guys. When? No, when? Instead of moose. I would reach us five on these guys, huh? A bunch of Chinese commies up here. But we'll see when we go to war with them. As well as improve our doctrines, of course. Update our doctrines with the downfall of society, or so they say. Though we shouldn't give that notion a chance to be proven right. Let's study our doctrines and make room for aero accommodations. It's all been been all the buzz lately. A new prototype. We got a colossal a new prototype inspired by blimp technology that's beyond anything we've ever seen or heard grace the sky before. They carry a whole new array of passengers and withstand the harshest developments. Truly a spectacle. Let us wield our airborne future. And now, everyone, as as you can tell from fade and fade outs, we're actually at war with another group down here. We've been at war with a strat. Strath Commune, and we've been doing pretty well. They've lost 26,000, and they've 89 divisions, so we just let them run into our divisions. As we're going to go to war with now, the Dundum. Dumdern. Led by Jacob Dundern. So, uh, cool. It's a little laggy right now just because I'm kind of resuming from the last fade and fade out. Uh, cool. But, oh, it did do quite a few focuses off screen, such as, uh, where are we at? Master Navigate Navigation Course. Uh, did all this stuff, the new prototype course, improve our doctrines, but the Winnipeg Arsenal. Let all who gaze upon our vessels know, from dingy beginning we have risen to masters of the lakes. The Republic is the first to reach such achievements, and we still have such much to prove and claim. Secret contacts. We made interesting contacts from beyond the shore. A group of armorers have presented us a line of mechanized armor beyond what we ever seen. They sh they've given us two options, uh, and a long, long number of prices. Shall we begin negotiations? And now this group is dead, which is great. I'm thinking I might just do a, uh, at this point, kind of like a... Uh, I've time lapse. I can't think of the thing. So we can do start lessons production to get Baltic power armor versus our own models, which wouldn't be bad if we were without this red. Now here you get faster research speed and better production costs, or we'll just buy the latest models. With uh, we lose a thousand bottle caps, whatever we get a power armor from Enclave power armor. So as a first time buyer's grace, these armors have given us the schematics to build Baltic power armor. They're comfy and they're tough. They're stylish with the right pink coat. Buy the latest model. Delighted with their satisfaction, the armors are presented us with the latest power armor in their stock. In their stock, Enclave, they tell us, and it's rarely used. It's sleek, powerful, and surely gets a message you want to cross. God, I have just, hmm. I get a little chubbed up whenever I see Enclave power armor, but maybe that's just me. Um, but yeah. Uh, up next, who are we taking up next? Uh, Duck Lake. I'm going to read a whole bunch of focuses, so then I'll do those off screen as we'll go through the time lapse together. Uh, we can still go to war with those guys, whatever. Oh, Moose Jaw. Well, we can't quite get there, so... There's only two that we can do at the same time. Uh, we're still making more divisions, which is nice. And... What do we have here? Also, honestly, we'll probably convert all these uh, divisions to, like, power armor. Is there a good Enclave power armor? I mean, my goodness, I am such a sucker for power, power armor. It's not even funny. Uh, so after we buy the latest model, we'll do the Pelican. On a scouting trip, one of our navy units spotted an abandoned vessel drifting out. It's an impeccable shape. And scribbled on the side of the vessel reads the Pelican. Let's reel it back to shore for research. Draft the best and brightest. Not just anyone can handle the mantle of sea or sky. We need only the best and brightest. There exists untapped talent out there among our systems waiting to be discovered. We just need to scout them out. Uh, promote female aces. There's something about our female aces that I don't see in any other group. They've got the unspoken unity, that charisma, and boldness. Give them a tank, or to give them a task, and they'll do it together in a split. I say promote them, promote them all, Baron says Baron McGregor. Uh, strict training. Nothing is more costly and tragic than a crash pilot. Only through strict training and regiments can we avoid accidents or casualties. It's our responsibility as, a, as our pilots to ensure every plane returns home. Let's get to work. Our Republican Air Force. That looks really, really good, actually. Look at all that green. Oh, my goodness. Let our planes streak the sky with exhaust. So that is our mark on the world. A dream made real. Dawn in shining blues, reds, and whites. The Republican Air Force will be a reckoning. Rookie pilots will become aces, and aces becomes masters of the sky. Advanced radar. Baron McGregor proposes we expend all efforts possible into advanced radar technologies. Propelling ourselves ahead is the only way to reach our prosperous future and leave our adversaries in the past. The hunt for the Aurora. The Aurora has floated over Canada since the Great War, a mocking reminder of America's bladder route. A rule. But now the Baron stretches a people's hand for their claim of treasure. But who knows what we'll find. Iron Brigade, which I read last time as well. Uh, the Communist Rifle. There's a hidden beauty to simpler guns. 
there are make illustrate simpler days, though it's one thing to fire a weapon and other to actually understand it. Expanding resources <clears throat> into dismantling and examining these older guns might spark some innovative breakthroughs and form the peasant militias. Oh, we can't do the promise of land ownership. Oh, well, I can't do this one, which sucks. Darn it. So if you're going to do that, please go ahead. Um, we're going to do all of these over here. And, of course, we could have done the, on the Wings of Freedom, but we did not. I did complete that one already, public schooling. While our citizens are happy with their living conditions, there is still a large issue that plagues our children, the lack of schooling. If we are to truly become a civilized nation, we must invest in public schooling for little ones. Freedom is best and brightest. Now that our children and young folk are the most educated in the wasteland, the free republic that Eloy governs is entering a new era of prosperity and intelligence as a beacon of life for the Dark Wasteland, the Second Coalition. The Manitoban monarchy stands strong in the tyrannical steed, uh, or stead. If we ever have a chance to top in the regime, we must return to our roots and see who back in our call for coalition. With the force of many nations, we can surely destroy the king and his loyal oppressors. And then refiring the forges. The four trolls of Gimli have always been a strong economical, economical ally in the storms of strife. Was not test that they will reveal themselves as thinly veiled enemies. With the second coalition, we can have an easier time forging weapons for front lines. Opening the vault. The inhabitants of Vault 37 have mostly been an isolationist in their approach towards outsiders that hasn't been contacted with us in any way. It's time to establish first contact with them and see if they will prove themselves useful in the fight against the tyrants of Manitoba. Congressional aid. The Metis Tribal Congress were once our only allies in their fight against the monarchy, and while we failed in our previous efforts, it's time to see if they will beckon, beckon the call and march on Brandon with us as if we were brothers in arms once more. Four Alexander's for Forges. Fort Alexander was never a massive fortified bastion, but now the abandoned fortress lays dormant, decaying and eroding day by day. Seeing as nothing but would-be ghost inhabitants is in here interior, we could salvage what little equipment is left and build weapons manufacturing plants, and then guerrilla experience. If we are to prevail against monarchs' enemies, then we must disrupt their orderly battalions and formations by instructing our wards in the art of guerrilla warfare and how to best use it against an unprepared enemy.
Well, everybody, now we're doing Gimli's Gambit Wares, because apparently join us. Or General Wares. The short folk of Gimli love their forges and hammers. Perhaps we can look into purchasing some of their random wares the craftsmen have created out of boredom. After all, we could all die fighting side by side with a friend. So it seems like they probably accepted our offer, but we're, like I said earlier, we're going to do the hunt for the Aurora. But, uh, instead of doing a lot of more uh, time lapse, we're just going to keep doing this. Um, I did convert all these divisions off screen to power armor because I love power armor. I made a 25 combo with just for funsies. Is that a good combat width? Probably not. But, you know, whatever. Um, but, at this point, we are going to go ahead and just fight much more quickly on everyone else because we have installed the Fast Justification mod for Hearts of Iron 4, of course. Because what other mod would we use for that? And we'll probably be cruising through here so fast that we don't really need to do another time lapse. But I hope you enjoy the time lapse. That's really my first real one. I've done them before, but it's been a very long time since I've actually done them. So, uh, But yeah, we're going to start striking through the Pass... Pass Keepers? The Pass Keepers and the Silix Nation. And then maybe the Coover, Dredgers... At least get to the coast. We might not get New Victoria, but... You know, we'll see what we get. Oh, Power Armor Scavenger is attacked. Um, I've actually taken a look down here. Friday Fighters have done very, very well. Um... I guess it's Khazar's Legion versus the NCR. Oh! Okay, State of Sequoia, Eastern Legion as well. That's interesting. Iron Lion's looking pretty thick, but we're looking very thick up here, which is very, 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 quite nice, I would say. Um, but yeah, these guys next. You know, these are 12 combo with, we don't have enough power armor, but you know what, what else is new? Cool. Alright, you guys. Um, put about 20 guys here, that should be good enough for that. Oh, okay, so never mind. Um, you guys do all this here. And then we could throw you guys instead over here on this side. Make it a easier for ourselves. And we're gonna stop training. That'll be fine. No longer get old world tactics. This now we can probably take out these guys as well. So yeah, it's gonna take a while to do. I apologize for this very long video, but it is what it is. Of course, we do have the second coalition with, of course, Gimli in. With this forward hold of Gimli. Which is very nice. And who else can we take out? These guys, and that's pretty much it, as we're still just fine on whom? Faster buys or uh Dawson Creek or whatever. 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 It's going in anyways. You guys go on in. And you know what? I don't want these guys to attack yet. Because we still are lacking quite a bit of power armor. Um, like I said. Make five a day, which is actually pretty darn good. We are making some more ships. Nice. And we're trying to improve ourselves here too. How is Air Spirit already going? Doing alright. After the Aurora Bora, Aurora Dinga Danga, the hunt for the Aurora, that's what it was, we'll probably go and do the Forge of Democracy. We must secure control on the Forge holds if we were to succeed against the monarchists. Without our industry, our rifles will simply not be able to match the numerous hordes of tyrants. We're doing a pretty good amount of air damage, which is very, very nice. This is Banks N555. Five, five, five. Well, money, 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 money. Today's not bad. Nice. Suppose now we can go to war with them? Yes, we can. Uh, to make this a little easier, maybe instead of using a power armor over here, maybe we'll send these guys over instead. So we have way more divisions for each group. And split up and start like just maneuvering our way around here a little bit, maybe faster. Maybe, maybe not. And then you guys, I want you guys to come up here to the entrance. Let's see, eight divisions here. And then 12 right here. Which is not too bad. Capture of the Warren. That's very nice for them. Whoever did that. But we don't really care too much. Hunt for the Aurora. We're capturing the Great White Beast. I tell us rumors up north of Aurora. Um, the airship forever prepared. And forever unready. A pre-war American uh, airship designed to support the occupation. of coasted on an island pilot for centuries after the bombs fell. The crew started to death shortly after the war. But nobody told the machine where to land, so it did not. The rumors speak of a, a glittering treasure in the sky, a secret and riches from beyond the war, but no one could reach that vessel, just always out of reach until the captain. Now we make contact in the Baron's first board. Everyone who doubted him for so long will see that they made a terrible mistake, and what better place to make his new home? What a lonely, or lovely view. Oh, it gets sophisticated air attack. Nice. I thought we already had that, though. Did we not? Yeah, we kind of already had sophisticated air attack, but whatever. Follow the Chichen Itza. Very cool. And we're ready to go. We are very soon. we got two days left. 
You guys are honestly probably going to get pierced very badly, but whatever. Um, gliders, planes. We don't have a lot many ships, obviously. But that's okay. Ships, planes, whatever. We don't have that many ships anyways, too. Alright, so we'll do that group. Fort Cap Hell. Why not? That was the power armor doing overall. Not getting quite pierced too much yet. Just a little bit. Just enough. And you guys are doing what? Doing all right here? We'll see how well we do. The pass is going to really suck to fight through. I mean, it's going to be god awful. It's all right. We'll deal with it. One way or another. Draw divisions. You can all probably do that, maybe. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Metis Congress actually joined us. Oh, that's nice. But I'm not calling them into the war. So you guys are going to come over here, too. I don't want you in. Of course, I'd love to make more power armor divisions, but we cannot currently, which sucks. Sucks quite a bit. Oh, so we're ready for this side. Battle barges would be nice to make, actually. Surface propulsion, get some naval invading stuff. Nice. Word of mouth is fine for now. Subsurface propulsion, whatever. Uh, radar rays, that's pretty much all we got. It's an alright ship. Do it like that, maybe. Get these more resources still, though. Core that one just for slightly more resources. <coughs> but that's alright. Cool. Good to go again. They attack us, which I'm totally okay with, because now we're going to attack them. And we'll come to none of it. You guys are over here. You're doing a great job still. Slowly going through all these small little cavernous areas and whatnot. Uh, just make sure your goal is to get all the way down to here if you can. Should be alright though. Let the power armor do it by themselves. I don't want them to get more experience, especially Jeffrey Halleck. Oh, 15 divisions encircled. Completely encircled. No peace. And we do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm, too. It's very nice. Technology. We weren't quite done with it yet, but that's alright. Forge of democracy. Destroying old ties. Now that the Congress is ready to face a monarchist threat with us once more, we kindled our diplomacy. We've both agreed to help invest in robotic technology so that we are not unprepared for the tyrannical hordes. Very much. Oh, we went rooted? Oh, that's terrible. That's bad. I should have went with Pain Train. That's my fault. My fault. Um, whatever. It is what it is. Fire team. Experience soldier losses. Awareness. Yeah, the awareness. Why not? I done screwed that up. Melee attack us, which is fine. Whatever. Just keep holding the line for now. I'm not too concerned about that. Enough more infantry divisions. Very good. Go and throw these guys over here if we can. Throw them over here, even though we'll probably never make them. And keep working on naval modules because we can. So on for the front. Let's get more political power. War support's nice and all, but whatever. Oh, you guys, you know what? Come here. Go ahead as well. All the way down to there. Come on, in, 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 and mighty seven in the future. Hey, we got lots of That's nice. Um, give me half, of you guys. Come back down here. Nice. You guys, do 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 do. Um, they're kind of in the way. We'll probably take these guys out. I think we can float through there. As long as we get browning, that's probably the most important thing, so. Entrance. Immediately try to fight us here, too, which is fine. Let them kill themselves. Military old ties. Research agreements. Well, we may have the second coalition in place. We've not yet formalized any way of sharing our schematics and research breakthroughs we've independently had over the years. 
However, there's a solution. We'll set up an organization of our top researchers to convene and ensure none of our allies are falling behind technologically. Pretty much. Ah, I just scored anyways. Not bad. More melees are nice. These guys are 25. Not bad. Of course, that's why we'd have less divisions in total, but whatever. You guys, what can you do here? Go to fire, please. Thank you. Let them keep attacking us for now and keep finding some more stuff too. Still no ship yet, but whatever. Nice. Well, it doesn't take too long to capitulate these guys because these guys seem like they could be very annoying. Ah, got the forge with us now. Good. Good, 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 good. Ooh, there goes the entrance. Very nice. Oh, another power division. Nice, 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 nice. Go ahead, y'all. Since you're over here, too, you must help out with that. I'm gonna go straight for the pass. Destiny. Ooh. Storing old ties. Public schooling, of course. But research is probably first. How much further down do we need to go? To Nelson? Ah, McBride. Ah. There, research agreements, opening Canadian trade. The Three River sits at a perfect point in the Canadian Lakes, being one of the major trade ports in the whole region. However, since their conflict with Manitoban monarchy started, commerce has been on down downturn. It's time to reopen trade and let the river's currency flow once more. Nice. Go ahead, y'all. Oh, do we get circle here? Come on, guys. Yeah, we got them back in there. We got more trade. It's good. And then the infantry is going to mop these guys up as well, which is very good as well. Get some assault canoes. Oh, got them all done at the same time. Look at that. Get them for surgeons is good. About that way first. You guys keep on going this way and uh, to take them out. Valon would be nice. Where are you guys at here? Um, there you go. State Kid of Phallus. There you go. Should have them soon. Should, in, in theory. The big old pain in the butt to take these guys out. And we got to get the dredgers, Silic Nation. Oh, it should be too bad. Cool. Wrapping them all up. Like a little present. Actually, let's come over here. Plus two percent, nice. Good stuff. No mountain top high enough. Honestly, that's probably the one worth doing. So much I want to keep going with urban and marsh. Let's go with no mountain high enough. Do we need that? No, but whatever. You all can go right here. You all, where are you at? Troll worn. Oh, troll worn over here? Huh. I thought we were down there. Weird. Okay. Apologies this episode's so long, I just want to make sure we get to the coast. 
and finish out the focus tree, really. My main two goals. So. Um. Oh, there goes Texas. Bye, Texas. No, we will be good. Reform our control. Oh, I hate this one. Lose my political power for no reason. Basically. Alright, so we're down here. Come on. Case. There we go. Give him some time, though. I need some time for that. One, two, you got three. Um, there's nothing else open around there either, so you guys come down here. Pop those guys out. Five days there. You guys are still moving around, but you're moving very quickly, which is very good to see. Because they have a sense of urgency amongst them. It's very nice. Manitoba is going to be probably not super easy to take out, but you know what? We'll see. They return empty handed, eh? Well, that was pointless. There you go. Do the best you can. We're doing well over here, too. And Selects Nation. In five days. Ah. Not bad. And the Rupert Lands Trading Company. That's a Canadian thing. That's a very Canadian thing, actually. As far as I remember. Go straight on in if you can. Some more manual prospectors would be nice. Well, of course, we're done with all that stuff, too. Uh, opening Canadian trade is very nice. Breaking neutrality. The neutral zones belong to it as a buffer zone with little no actual governance in it. If we're to march on the tyrants, so we must get rid of this diplomatic obstacle and plan our invasion. Ah, neutral zones right there. Base conference? Ah. Nice. Good luck to dead. Wow, a royal's done extraordinarily well. Wow. The Ackerman Nation. We can take them on by ourselves. Actually, we'll have to get ready for these guys, too, so... Hmm... We'll be okay for now over there. I don't really want to take out the Northern Cons. There's no point for us to take them out, so... Get away, gang. Why don't you guys come over here? Hmm. Nice. Dredgers, go ahead. If you can, if you can, if you cannot, it's gonna be a little bit of an issue for us. Give us half of you guys, go right here. Leave and bait them into attacking us. <coughs> there you go. How much manpower do they have? Two or three thousand, we'll deal with them later. Outriggers! Get some of these guys. Square rig sales, nice. We're all done with this page. All up with that one, and then maybe even. Oh, we're doing with all this stuff. That's not bad. We're doing with all this stuff too. Not quite. Get some energy. Because we can! You guys are down here. Like I said it's fine. You guys can help hold the line there, whatever. You do. We'll have the power armor to take these guys out. So after breaking neutrality, we will do public schooling, of course, uh, pretty much best and brightest. And then uh, marching on Manitoba. Time's coming to end this mock of a monarchy that oppresses the soon to be free people of Manitoba. They shall be remembered for, uh, by many for decades to come, and will many will lose their lives heroically, but they'll have to tr serve a truly great cause. Man, it's been a long video. But, um, truth be told, I did. 
I guess I could have shown you this, but we did make it to the coast. We took out the Silex Nation, took out the uh, Dredgers and all them. Even the Yakima Nation, because why not? This is a lot, huge chunk of territory that we've taken over. Of course, we have the Metis Congress with us as well. But at this point, we got to do a uh, marching on Manitoba. I'll talk about some more focuses as we go on. Our soldiers, are they all here? They're not all here quite yet, so let's give them a little bit of time first. Um, I did do Welcome Back. The territories of Porto Prairie had to be sacrificed for the greater good of the Republic. However, the neutral zone is no longer of strategic interest, seeing as our strength matches that of the Manitoban monarchs and them, clearing on land. Porto Prairie was once a thriving port that has now fallen into a boring state of decay. The governors of the neutral zone truly know nothing about ruining, running an economy and ran everything to the ground. This time we uh, used the swaths of pine forests that were untouched since our departure. Uh, let's go ahead and send a message, probably eventually, too. Now that the king and his tyrannical toy soldiers have met our valiant gunfire, we can begin assuring his former subjects of our intentions with the wasteland via radio broadcasts. We conquer them first, which is totally, totally fine. Make sure everyone's here on the line first as well. And you guys, you guys, uh, you should probably stay in port. Go, go, go home. Go home. And I'm not going to call our allies in, but you know what? We'll see what happens. Oh, whoops. My finger slipped. When in doubt, my finger slipped. I'm not calling any us in the war. Um, just because I want to see what happens. I got in their allies up there, too. Just fine, whatever. Oh, actually, you guys are attacking, huh? Ah, it's good. Everyone going. Let's see what you can do. Especially the power armor. Also, when we did the this focus here... The Iron Brigade, we got three divisions down here. Um, we got the Iron Guard, the Maple Leafs, and the Republicans. These are the three same templates. Powered fire team uh, platoons, as well as normal power armor. So we got 16 divisions, so overall not bad. Um, we should be doing quite a bit of damage up here. There's nuclear jet fighters. I mean, that should be doing pretty darn well, right? In theory, they should. Some airships as well. Especially with the power armor, you're not allowed to lose. So either lose or die, or die and win. But overall, how many divisions they got? 124? That's a lot of divisions. Landenburg March. King's Own Duck. We do want to fight these guys too, so we'll see what about them. Song from the front. Get some more political power because we can. And now we're at war with all of them. Which probably adds up to roughly 200 divisions in total. Economic percentage, not bad. Um, actually, we should probably be using our ciphers as well, perhaps. That'd probably be smart to do if we were smart at all. Go ahead. Can they beat us? Can they pierce us? No. And we do have their ciphers broken, which is very good, like I said. And yeah. <clears throat> Should do relatively okay. I'm not calling in our allies. I don't, I don't feel like it. I don't want to take all the glory for ourselves. They lost 3,000. We've lost 300. Let the power armor do all the, do all the work. Nine divisions over there. Just keep pushing, 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 pushing. Oh! Well, that was really fast. Absolutely beautiful. Go ahead with that. What is this one? Duck Mountain Rangers, huh? Mounties? Will it, led by William Tanner. Alright, well, whatever. You guys, come over here and do this. It's going to return triumphant, more research speed, even though at this point it doesn't really matter too much. And then you guys are going to be doing this over here too, and just go kill them all off. It just works. Do Dauphin. Dolphin. The Musketeers, eh? Chancellor McLean. And we'll be awarding them very soon. Rejavik is the capital of the Musketeers. Oh, and we got them too. A little bit of auto saving, and then we'll go in. We got a lot of army XP now. Alright. Because why not? Go straight in. They've lost a thousand and they're dead. Beautiful. Now we didn't get all of Canada. We could have taken new uh, new Victoria. Broken coast and then but I'm just, I'm just kinda tired of this video. I mean I'll be honest, like we've been I've been doing this for like five hours to get as, exactly where we need to go, so Um ending feudalism. Borderline slavery, the king called feudalism, must be dismantled at the core. Many have not seen what true freedom is. No longer will men and women work without pay and the false promise of having fair housing, the people must be freed. Fate of the queen. <clears throat> well, the king has, not, has met his deserved fate, we must now decide what to do with the queen. That would not be an easy question, but I'm sure our final verdict will be fair and just after we find out her true nature. Ah, uh, through merit, not blood. 
The nobles of this land have long profited on the hard work of their exploited citizens. It is time we will make an official statement about the arist aristocrat aristocracy. Aristocracy denouncing its value of bloodlines of a true merit, confiscating aristocratic lands. <clears throat> The lands of the nobility used to exploit the former subjects are now vacant. We can use these lands to benefit of the state by hiring farmers to directly manage this land and invest the profits into our republic. And remember the fall. The brave men and women that fought to regain the lands of Manitoba shall forever be more immortalized in our histories of true heroes of the republic. We have cut off any remaining remnants of the king's influence and the people of Brandon welcome us as saviors and honor the members of the fallen. Nice. When treason prospers, none dare call it treason. The king is dead long to the people. After much strife, we freed Manitoba from the monarch's clutches. No longer will anyone pretend to be the king of Canada. Only a free people with a government of laws, not of men. But that's the problem, isn't it? We've captured the Queen of Manitoba and must decide her fate. Some call for execution for complicity in the war. Others say we should merely hang her like any other criminal. Finally, some say we should let her survive as a commoner, punishing her to survive in a land that recognizes no nobility. What should we do? One could argue that she was never subject of ours and so committed no crimes, but that would be unpopular at home. The public execu Give her the public execution we couldn't the king. Oh. Hang her like some common criminal. The court finder ends innocent. No, no, I'll be honest. Like, we'll take different choices here. And if I can, maybe in the future, like, if we want to do the velvet glove. We have a heart of steel. And we have on the wings of freedom. Um, intellectuals become a ruling party. Uh, let's see. And then with a the velvet glove, we become the elites. If we do the elites eventually, because we did go ruler. With the elites, we'll probably do this uh, public execution. Um, uh, on the wings of freedom. Hang like a common criminal. Uh, heart of steel. Pfft. Oh, do we, what do we want to do? Uh, I want to find her innocent eventually, but intellectuals may able to do that one. We'll just hang her like a common criminal for now. Remembering the fallen. We have just finished the last focus that we can take for now, and I think that should be it. I'll be honest, with some wrapping thoughts up here for this campaign, I thought... When I started this campaign, all would be some sort of, you know, like two episode, relatively short campaign in Old World Blues for a nation that the devs thought up and kind of created, just kind of like a, a few of the nations down in Mexico, but no, this turned into a massive campaign. I didn't, I, this is, as you can tell, this is a long video. I didn't realize how really in depth this was and really quite interesting this campaign was. We have 100,000 manpower too, we know, and we're still in Wasteland militias, but you know, it was a lot of fun. It was a, it's very, I don't know, unexpectedly great. I mean, the devs do usually a tremendous job and, they've, and it's definitely a tremendous nation to play as if you've never played this nations before i'd highly recommend it highly 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 recommend it, especially once we conquered all of canada it's been a ton of fun but if you enjoy the campaign consider leaving a like subscribe if you're new check out my discord link in the description below if you haven't already let me know what your thoughts were on this campaign as well as the republic of the three rivers nation in general and i will see you all tomorrow or next day or later today in another campaign thanks for watching have a great 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 rest of your day.